Good afternoon, this is Pam from Follow Your Brush, coming to you from my kitchen. <laughs> I hope you're having a glorious Sunday afternoon. I wanted to show you something I was doing because it was actually working. <laughs> Not everything I do works, but you know, this is a process. So I wanted to bring you along on some of my process that I'm working on today. I have been trying to work on pictures that have a soft, muted, out of focus background, and then come back in after that's dry. With the more detailed picture, more detailed flowers. So in this one, I'm using my Etch a Sketchbook, Fabriano paper. This particular sketchbook is um, not 140 pounds, 120, but it, it just works, it works well. Uh, the brush that I'm using is from Tracy Lebenson, and this particular one is one of my favorites that I got from him, and it's a Silver Fox. Um, it just holds the water beautifully and gives me a beautiful point. Now my purpose in this is to come in with a soft, out of focus background, bringing in my colors. And in my picture, you can see there were some greens and then there were some um, just little hints of these flowers. They're actually, I'll bring it up on my phone here and show you in a second. They're actually uh, quite small, the actual flowers. Um, I had some in my yard down by my street. And before the lawn guy came, I thought this would be a good time to snap some pictures. So they're not really huge flowers, they're tiny little, some might call them weeds. And, um, but they're quite lovely. So this, this was my process, how, this was how I started. I just wet certain areas and then coming back in with the wet paint, I came back in and let this kind of dry and soften so we get that appearance of the soft edges and the muted background that's in this, in my original photo. This is one that I'm just doing quickly to show you what I did. Here's the one that I have let dry that I want to continue with. So here is the background, nice and soft and muted. This is dry now. This is the flowers I put in there take a second to show you my original photo. This is the photo that I'm working on. So you can see the back is soft. These are really not huge flowers. They're just um, very tiny on these long cylindrical stems, <clears throat> but they're quite beautiful even though they're so tiny. So um, that's what I wanted to work on. And since I was enjoying my process, it's not easy for me to, well, come back in and do the focused, the focused um, painting. So I'm trying to be really careful because I want to keep my out of focus background, but then do come in with this gorgeous stem that's coming across this way. I did not sketch this time. And the colors that I'm using for this is from this palette. And I'm coming in with um, some Quint Lilac and some Opera Pink. Just using a little tiny bit of water today. Trying to, I don't know, I'm just being really careful. And um, let me bring my picture back up. So I, like I said, I didn't sketch ahead of time today. 
I am just going visually looking at this. And it appears to me that my little flowers are gonna start in here. And obviously this is representational. This is not botanically correct. I'm gonna do my petals first and then try to come back. And they seem like they're a little darker in the center and they get a little larger or so it seems, maybe not, but that's how it's appearing to me. And um, this actually looks like it might be two stems coming up here. This brush holds the water um, and the pigment so well. Go back in with just a little bit more. As I come down here, that's a little more defined. But I just thought these were so pretty. Um, and so I wanted to, to try to do this. It, I think one of the keys about coming in um, afterwards, after you've done that uh, soft background, is to let it dry, which I'm really bad at because I get impatient, and then that's how I end up overworking my paintings. All right, it looks as though this is coming down on this stem. They almost look like little trumpets if you see them up close. Get down a little further, but then there's another stem here. We've got some green coming up here, and then some more flowers over here. So let me kind of come back in and add some of these. Like I say, this is just representational. This is not going to be a botanical painting where someone can come in and name the flower. You know, that's not what I'm doing. I'm not playing name that flower. <laughs> but we do, it does look like we have two stems that are joining here. One is coming down this way and one's that way. So I'm trying to get my little flowers in here. Just a little bit more mixture of pigment. And then um, I'm gonna, while this dries a little bit, I'm gonna see if there's any more that I need to strengthen. This has a little bit more of a stem. So I'm gonna come in here with my, this is actually green gold. This brush also has a tremendous tip. So I can have a little more control over what I'm doing. And um, it's getting a little bit darker as it comes down here. So I'm gonna go into my, this is Serpentine Green Genuine. This is a little bit darker in here. This is more pigment than water right now because I'm trying to get these, um, the clearer, not out of focus stems. They're still slightly out of focus, so I can come back in and soften some of this, which is easy to do with some water. I don't want this to totally outstage my other, my other flower that I'm doing. And I'm just kind of squiggling these lines in. They're not really exact, but you do notice over here in this corner, there are some more little ones so let me come in and do those as well. They kind of make like a little pyramid almost in the picture. And uh, so let me get that in there. I'm gonna come back in for some more of my serpentine green. I think that's what this is. I just had my eyes worked on at the eye doctor, so. I'm not sure if I'm reading my distance correctly. But these are a few little stems that just have these little buds on them. So I want to try to get them in against that muted background. There's another one that comes in over here. Uh, and you just see the muted colors behind it little too heavy on that one. Let me come down a little bit. 
Got some stems in here, some little buds, and then it does get darker down in here. So I, that's another thing I've been working on is my, um, my values and learning how to adjust my um, colors and my water ratio with the with the uh, pigment to get what I'm wanting. So I'm working on that as well. Uh, we have another little one here. Some of it is kind of muted. So I'm not gonna come in super strong on this one. Let's give some hints of stems here. And a lot of it I'm finding as a matter of adjust, just adjusting my water. Um, this is something new for me as you know, and I'm just, I'm learning as I go. And as I learn, I want to be able to share some with you as well. All right, I see over here. Oh, I enlarged it. So, okay, here we go. Here's my, back to my big one. We do have a bit of a stem coming up in here. With some little tiny dots. And yes, this is not a free flow. No, go away, kitty cat. The cat wants to see what I'm doing. This is not a free for all. Letting my paint drip everywhere which I do love to do, you know I do. But in this particular case, I am trying to be a little bit more careful. Now, it just depends on what you're working on. I love the, I love doing my, um, let it all out and free flow. Some of this is still a little wet, so I am gonna get some softening as I come down this stem. But I'm also getting some nice um, hard lines as well, which I do see in this painting. So this comes down here, or in this picture rather. This stem comes on down here, this direction. Some of these leaves are gonna come out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that where those drops are, make it take advantage of them. And now I see that there is um, another stem attached to this one. So let me go in with that to do that one. And this one also has some really cute little uh, seed pods at the top. Kind of come out. And they are a little bit pink. So I'm going to let that pink kind of Kind of drift in there and then and then my stem comes in <clears throat> I don't always paint like this you know if you uh, if you're like me it's just kind of like we do different things at different times and try different things the stem kind of comes into with this one and so that's what I enjoy. I enjoy just coming back in and trying different methods. Um, it's not always going to be the same. And, but that, isn't that part of the fun of it, <laughs> actually? Let me reduce this back down to uh, the size that it was. I see that... Um, I need to soften some more of this. So I'm just gonna come in here and with just some wet paint and water and soften some of this uh, area. It's a little bit darker up there and I wanna be careful about getting too dark because I have a tendency to lose my light and then I'm, 
I'm learning to protect my lights. I already did some dark when I did the um, original wet wash. I do see there is some dark in here though. Just, I'm coming in with my, sorry, my cat wants to join me. Um, this other color that I'm bringing in for this darks in here is a, um, sorry, I'll look in a second. Hang on. I'm trying to do this and think at the same time. But this is the muted section, so I don't really want to go overboard with this. I just want to uh, have it soft and lead into the other colors gently. There's some dark over here as well. I've been working on my negative painting, as some of you may know if you follow me on, on the group page. And um, I think this is all part of that as well. Learning to um, see those shapes, see those darker shapes and the lighter shapes and how they relate to one another. And when you do your darker shapes, keep in mind that you're actually kind of outlining it, so as it were, the lighter shapes. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm introducing some darker color up in this corner, but I am trying to also be mindful of those lighter colors that I have that made up these beautiful petals and not overwhelm that. So let them live, Let, as Angela says, let the beauty live. If you see something you like, let it, let it live a little bit. I know I'm going, to, I'm going very lightly into these. I'm not being heavy handed. Um, trying to just suggest almost. Uh, my brush, if you could, it's hard to explain the pressure on my brush, but it's very, very soft and very light. It's almost like I'm just barely a whisper on the page. And um, because I don't want to lose that softness and that um, not, not gripping down on my, on my brush, having a tight hold, I'm trying to keep it loose. Soften some of this. Come back in and add softness by um, Gonna add a little bit more of this uh, coin lilac in here because there were some really pretty soft colors over on this side. It's it's uh, not as pigmented. I have more water, but I do want to suggest these. And again, you know, it's not going to be exact. but I did want to show you this. I was pleased with how it was coming out, so um, I thought, wow, now's the, today I seem to be doing, doing okay with what I'm doing, so let me share it real quickly <laughs> before I mess it up, which I might be doing actually right now. I'm kind of bringing this green down because um, it does kind of come down here in the shadows. And... Uh, so I want to suggest that without being too overwhelming. And um, see, now is when I start thinking, and I start thinking, okay, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. And actually that's a sign for me to, um, to stop and let it dry and let it see what it wants to do. Because it's still very wet and um, so I want to kind of, I am going to kind of come in here and add just, I see a little bit more of that lavender or quin rose down in here. Just soft little petals that are going to kind of disappear uh, into the water. 
like I say, it's just a representational painting, not exact. So I hope this has helped you. I hope you've enjoyed it a little bit. Um, I always like trying new things, and uh, if they're working, great. If they don't, then, you know, more than likely I won't share them. <laughs> I think I did get maybe a little carried away in this area, but you know, it is gonna dry lighter. I can kind of lift some of this with a wet brush. This paper does allow for that. Oh, so I'm gonna do that and then drip it on my towel. This is dry here, so I'm gonna come back in over that. But anyway, that's what I'm doing today, and I wanted to share that with you. Hope you're having a wonderful day and that you've uh, enjoyed this little playtime as I'm working with my muted backgrounds and then more distinct, after it dries, colors in my petals. I'm going to let this dry again, and then I'll come back in and probably touch this up a little bit with some more darks because it's not quite dark enough on some of these blooms. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week, everybody. This is Pam from Follow Your Brush. Appreciate you liking, subscribing, and all of the above. I'm on Facebook from Follow Your Brush Group. You're welcome to join us over there as well. Thanks. Bye.